I regarded Bernard Sumner as the best sort of electronic musician out of the UK, you know, as well as being the killer guitar player in Joy Division. And we bumped into each other over the years and we knew each other and uh, and that was it. And then we started writing and then this very, very tight friendship uh, started, you know. And the idea of electronic was it was supposed to not be a group, you know, uh, not be a band anyway, because we... It was very important that Bernard and myself got away from being in a band, you know. So we, we wanted to be a new, you know, at that time there was a lot of new kind of groups like, you know, say um, S Express and um, Chic were important to us too, you know, because again, that was two people and they built a group around their songs. David Byrne and Brian Eno, David Bowie and Brian Eno, that idea of the studio being... Um, the band that was really important for us it wasn't just that we were trying to get away from the smiths and new order uh it was that we were trying to um, take on those other kind of working practices and if it's just the two years and you're like playing everything and writing everything and producing everything and building the studios that's why it takes a long time but we liked craft work as well and they have even longer gaps in between records so when when you like one of your favorite bands is craft work you know you feel pretty prolific making a record every two years you know and then you get to work with one yeah yeah carl bartos joined us on the, on the second album yeah what was it like meeting him for the first time because i mean he's quite a legendary figure meeting carl was amazing because uh we had these ideas about you know craft work uh, uh and we we expected that we'd go over to Dusseldorf, which we did, and that you know the, we would be met by a robot, and you know, and uh, and um, which he's, he's anything but. Um, we, and we just got to go into the studio and look at all of their gear and see. You know, he, he explained to us how certain songs were made and everything. That was really exciting for us. But it was interesting because we wanted to be very very electronic. And he was interested in being more like a rock musician. It's just an interesting sort of scenario, really. So he wanted to jam, and he, he came into my place. And we were expecting, as I say, some guy with a clipboard. And um, and he just he picked up an acoustic guitar of mine and started playing Lazy Sunday Afternoon by The Small Faces, whereas we wanted to sound like Trans Europe Express, you know. It was a great time. Electronic was so good, and I had some, you know, I had some hits that were, were surprised and that I'm very, very uh, fond of. You know, the main one being "Get the Message." Why that track? Because it was written very quickly, and it has a spirit in it that uh, can really get ironed out of a song if you work on something too long. Mm -hmm. 